As somebody who's no stranger to giving his opinions on the internet, today I will be looking at some of the most debated internet questions of all time. So let's do this. But our first question is how do you pronounce G-I-F? This question's as old as time itself. So let's just rip the band-aid off early. This is pronounced GIF with the G. GIF is literally the name of a peanut butter, so there's no reason to call it GIF. And look, I get that the founder of GIF said it's pronounced GIF, but just because you're the founder of something doesn't mean you have a superior grasp on the English language and phonics. This guy clearly has no idea what he's talking about. The answer is GIF and it will always be GIF. And it looks like 83% of people agree with me. What came first, the chicken or the egg? So I think the most important question to ask here is what is a chicken? Because if you believe in evolution, then a chicken wasn't always a chicken. It evolved into being one. So let's say a chicken used to be a dinosaur. There was a particular day, like a point in time, when there was that crossover from dinosaur to chicken. And that crossover was defined after it was hatched from the egg. So I think everybody agrees this is chicken. 52% of people agree. I just don't think people have properly thought this through. Should a sandwich be cut diagonally or horizontally? I think most people agree that when you cut it diagonally, it tastes better. But if we're saying, should it be cut diagonally? I think the answer is no. I don't know how the physics work on this. I think it has something to do with like the corners are weaker when you cut it diagonally. And so things are like more prone to falling out. Whatever, I think this has to be horizontal. And it looks like nobody agrees with me. Is cereal a soup? So soup is a noun, a liquid dish typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables in stock or water. Well, I think in order for it to be defined as a liquid dish, then more than 50% of it has to be liquid. And I think cereal, in terms of its volume at least, is more than 50% liquid. Therefore, it is a soup. Now things get interesting because if you have... So yes, 22% of people have no idea what they're talking about. Next up, toilet paper over or under? Hold on, let me check this real quick. Over. And while I was in there, I came to a realization. Why in God's name would you put it under? Because most of the time, if we're doing under, one, you have to reach a bit further, and two, usually the toilet paper is like hinged onto the wall, which means that like you're pulling it against the grain. You're pulling it literally against a wall. There's like friction that you don't need. Definitely over. 86% of people agree. Okay. Pepsi or Coke? So I'm not a really big soda drinker, but when I do drink soda, it's usually Coke. But I think the question gets a bit deeper. Do you like Pepsi products or Coke products more? So do you like vitamin water? Do you like Mountain Dew? Do you like root beer? Do you like Pepsi? Or do you like Coke, Sprite, etc.? But if we're just going off of the soda itself, Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi. Okay, about two thirds of people agree. Is pineapple on pizza good? All right, so this is where it gets interesting because I don't think that pineapple itself on pizza is good, but pineapple when accompanied with ham, for instance, on pizza is good. Cause I don't mind a nice Hawaiian slice, but I do mind if there's just like a nice little round piece of pineapple plopped on my pizza for no good reason. It's fine. Okay, I feel like it moved up over time. It used to be like 20%, so now 40% of people are coming around. Star Wars or Star Trek? This is like asking if I wanna watch paint dry or somebody cut the lawn. I think I'd rather watch paint dry, which I'm gonna say is more Star Wars. I'm just not really sold on the science fiction genre in general. Like not a big fan of like Back to the Future and anything like that. But I think Star Wars is fun. 87%. I don't even know what Star Trek is about. Would a dog wear pants like this or like this? So I'm looking up the etymology of pants because I believe pants is like derived from Latin and it like involves two legs. And if that's the case, then we know our answer. So let's look into this a bit. Okay, so I have a lead. Pants is derived from pantaloons. And then looking here, if we take the historical definition, men's close fitting breeches fastened below the calf or at the foot, which then begs the question, does a dog have four calves? Do dogs have biceps or do they just have four calves? That's a good question. They say that dogs only have two ankles because they have two wrists up top, which means you would never wear pants around your wrists. So the answer literally has to be like that. And for some reason, 17% of people disagree. Could Jack have fit on the door in the movie Titanic? So I think James Cameron actually recreated this recently, and he said that Jack could in fact have fit on the door. I don't think he should have been on the door because I kind of wanted him to die in the movie anyways. Spoiler. But if it's just a matter of could he have fit on the door, I think the answer is yes. There was definitely room, like why couldn't they just have gone on top of each other? You're not in a situation where you could be choosy anyways. So yeah, okay, 79% of people agree. Are hot dogs a sandwich? Well, let's apply the same logic we use for soup to sandwich. So a sandwich is an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between them 
eaten as a light meal. So the big thing that's sticking out to me here is two pieces of bread, because a hot dog bun is only one piece of bread, in which case a hot dog can't be a sandwich. However, what if you break that roll into two, and then it becomes two pieces of bread? then by definition it would qualify as a hot dog. So I think the answer is sometimes. I feel good about this one. 39% of people agree. Marvel or DC? So this used to be Marvel by a long shot, but I'm really disappointed in Marvel's newest phase. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just not where it was. And I really like Batman. I really like Joker. Overall though, you still have to give it to Marvel. It just has like such a cultural impact. 82% of people agree. Lots of fanboys. Should we get rid of daylight savings? I just answered this recently in another video, but I argue that we shouldn't get rid of daylight savings because you might as well get back the extra hour in June and who cares about the extra hour in January because that's like a miserable time anyways. So the answer is no. All right, 46% of people agree. Next we have Xbox or PlayStation. Neither. So I'm more of a Nintendo or PC guy. I've never actually owned an Xbox ever in my life, and the only PlayStation I owned I think was PS2. Maybe it was even PlayStation 1, but everyone had like the old Crash Bandicoot games on it. And so as a categorized gaming channel, I feel like I do have some say in this, and so I would say PlayStation slightly beats Xbox. Okay, 62% of people agree. Don't they have better graphics too in the newest PlayStation? Are we living in a simulation? I've never understood the fascination with this theory. If we were in a simulation, why would we be in a simulation? You have to ask the deeper question. You can't stop there. There has to be somebody then behind the curtain who's pulling the strings, and being in a simulation would mean that life itself isn't life. Like, if you define something as life, then it can't be simulated because life is reality. And so the very question itself is an oxymoron, and so I can't agree with it. So I'm going to say, no, we're not living in a simulation. All right, so 47% of people agree with me. Not too bad. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I've never watched Die Hard in my life. I know a lot of people like die on the hill of calling it a Christmas movie. So Die Hard... That doesn't look like a Christmas movie. High above the city of LA, a team of terrorists has seized a building, taken hostages, and declared war. Okay, in what universe is that considered to be a Christmas plot? All right, let's have a look at the release date. July 22nd, it wasn't even meant to be a Christmas movie. I think without even seeing the movie, I can comfortably say that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. 55% of people agree. All right, so when eating a brownie, do you take the middle or the edge piece? If we're going off of personal preference here, I think we go edge. The good thing about the edge is you get the best of both worlds. You get that soft, gooey middle, but then you also get that nice little browning of the edge, and it's like kind of harder, so it's like a nice little texture change. Goes really well with the milk. So I'm pretty gung-ho on edge. Did I use that word right? 51% agree. Wow, so this is, I think, the most split one yet. All right, so when you're putting on your shoes and socks, do you go sock, shoe, sock, shoe, or sock, sock, shoe, shoe? So my biggest issue I take with this is that this assumes that people go from barefoot to shoes. I'm always wearing socks. And since I'm always wearing socks, I always have my two socks on before my shoes. Like, look at this. Do people just walk around their house barefoot until it's time to go outside? Hopefully 80% of people have their socks on before they put their shoes on. And by the way, even if I was barefoot, I would put my socks on first before I put my shoes on. If this isn't 80%, then I'm going to end this quiz. 83%. Okay, cool. iPhone or Android? Smile. Android's cool. I don't have anything against Android, other than when you take photos on Snapchat and Instagram, they look terrible. They're entirely pixelated, and it looks like you're living in the Stone Age. But if we disregard all those points, Android is a better phone than an iPhone, but the iPhone ecosystem and everything that comes with it is kind of unbeaten. So I think iPhone I'm actually going to go with. 63% of people agree, which means this is definitely an American-weighted quiz. Does a straw have one hole or two? So a hole is a hollow place in a solid body or surface. Okay, so that didn't help us there. So when you dig a hole, a hole only has one entrance, correct? So then I guess the question is, if you continue digging through Earth and you reach the other side, let's say you got through the mantle in the core somehow, would you have dug one or two holes? You would have only dug one hole. You just created a separate exit. You know what? Let's solve this once and for all. All right, so this is a video of a straw being made in South Korea, some mass production factory. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. But at what point do they cut the straw? Oh, it's already cut like that. That happened way too fast. I'm confused. So I think I have to go back to the one hole argument in which like if you're digging through earth, you're only creating one hole, even if you get to the other side. So one. 59% of people agree. Thank you. And then the final question of them all, smooth or chunky peanut butter? Chunky. If you want to watch more videos like this, make sure to click here or here and also subscribe on your way out. Peace.